Hi YouTube. I'm doing okay. I figured a person's gotta eat so this morning I made some penny pasta and last night I had um, made some chicken so I'm, I made a chicken pasta salad and they're always really good especially when it's pretty warm outside so yeah that's all ready. But yeah just uh, one of my um, usual interesting days going on. <laughs> oh, if I get interrupted and the noise is my air conditioner because I had to close my windows, I didn't have a choice. It was pretty nice. It was actually beautiful, kind of humid, but it was 84 degrees and breezy. So I had a nice breeze coming in my window until it was exhaust fumes, you know. So, which is um, lead poisoning too, not just carbon monoxide. So, yeah. So, yeah, I wonder why I have rings around my eyes. Oh, and another thing too, if I get interrupted or if my pump comes on because I had a lot of dishes from chopping everything up and had to get them done. I don't want any bugs in here being at summertime. So so if it does excuse the noises, I just wanted to let you know that I'm doing okay. Um, I shared uh, in the heat of the night yesterday, the man who wrote the song. Today I'm going to share a clip from the movie with Ray Charles singing that song. And that's the version I love best. I just love it, love it. In fact, I'd watch the show. There's several shows like this with the theme songs that I'd turn them on just to hear it at the beginning and the end. You know, like Greatest American Hero and um, let's see, what else? Um, oh, that's, I don't know. Uh, just a whole bunch of them. Ninja Turtles, <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That was a good theme song. Um, let me see. Oh, I like Ghostbusters. Wasn't that a good song? <laughs> or isn't that? Got kind of played out, but yeah. It was pretty cool when it came out. Let me think of other TV theme songs that are good. Oh, there's so many of them. Uh, I don't know, I guess. Yeah. Huh. What's that? Uh, CSI's um, by the Who. Who are you? <laughs> yeah, that's what I keep asking these people that are on me. Who are you? Do, do I know you? I don't think I do. It sounds like somebody uh, might be dug in a shop with music. I don't know. Heard some booming noises out there. Oh, yes, my life is exciting. I am thinking about calling a friend just for like this weekend if this heat goes away and see if she wants to go collecting agates with me and just get the hell out of here for a while clear my mind, you know, leave a note. <laughs> and I've done that before. I didn't even leave a note when I moved next door. So I was uh, remodeling their basement into an apartment. Um, and yeah, he bribed me back. Well, and a lot of it too is my oldest son still lived here with him. He was 19, but it still really, really bothered me. You know, so anyway. And if he hadn't have been acting like Doug, I probably would have had him move next door with me. Well, this next door is um, about a mile away anyway. So a friend of mine had that I um, went to junior high school with in the cities moved up on my same road across the street and up a ways. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Till they lost their place. So 
Ja. Yeah, I don't know. Crazy life for real. And, you know, just keeping strong around this retarded shit is, um, it's a trip. It really is. And the mass quantity of retards, it's not just one or two. It's like everybody in this vicinity that is working with these dark forces are coming down on me hard. And even innocent people can be used and they don't really even know the severity of it all, how it even affects them, or if it does, they have, or and if they do have a clue, I don't think they really have an idea of the ramifications of um, a person like that, being around a person like that. See, I can't be expendable and have upsets and all kinds of things. Um, mostly even I, if it was that we were separate and I could be left alone, but it isn't like that, you know? Like even when I try to just be chill and it just, um, it's impossible around here. I mean, I, uh, if it were a sane conversation, It'd be possible, but it, it it's so strange to me. I I don't know. I've had close friends that don't go like this, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh shoot! I know some of you. You know, I had a friend say he was heartbroken. I feel you, my little brother, for real, for real. I know a lot of you out there. Um, have been betrayed like that and just the the way these people move is it's hard to describe isn't it wow but that's why i'm documenting it so people know hey you're not alone if they they did something they did it it's not your imagination, and I could have opened the window to hear the mower better, but I figured if the sound were turned up, um, and it can be de detected if I'm going to use it for any kind of evidence. So, yeah, it's been um, like, let's see. Yeah, he gassed two dogs, and then one time he tried to gas himself and I called the cops on them and had them um, go to the door and have him unlock it and told them he had an AK in there and he only had one at the time. And I figured if he's going to try and fall asleep like that, um, he'd do anything anyway. Cause, and he was wanting me to probably bust down the door or do something stupid. And I wasn't going to go uh, walk into his traps, whatever the um, mindset of the retard train was on, because it is documented, you know. The weird things he's done, I had like uh, um, with my kid and I had a documented uh, abuse too. A couple different times so asking for a divorce or a legal separation is it not far-fetched and he's got a, a paper a letter of divorcement that's legal all he has to do is date it and take it in and get a legal separation or a divorce divorces are basically cheap you know it's a lot uh, more expensive to live with somebody um, you know, I, I know I can make people happy, but I don't make him happy, and he sure isn't making me happy. So it's like, and it's been too long. I don't give this many chances. I've just been stuck. And this, I'm, I'm trying to show you 
the ways I've been stuck that is totally crazy and yeah so yeah still got to get that letter written for the kids and then I'm going to take care of my personal situation so. but I don't expect things to be um, peaceful even doing that type of thing it's uh, something I have to put a lot of thought into it's not something that um, You don't take it lightly when people don't care if you live or die, you know. And when you know that uh, everybody around here is dark cabal, that's pretty well stuck, you know. Especially when we're all raised, you know, to um, forgive people. And the, and the bullshit that demons don't live in the flesh, oh yeah, they do. They didn't just possess somebody's body or somebody's soul. That's them in the flesh that Satan helped create with the sicknesses in us. That's how he controls people, through sicknesses, mental and physical illnesses. He controls the flesh, you know, and you can hear him in the ether. And he used to have a lot more electrical energy and he's going to have one last ta-da but then his uh, pretty much going to be put on the back burner as a distant memory of energy that really sucks I don't know how many of you have been totally like uh gang stalked and harassed your entire life that's a suffering servant you know i heard somebody that does gematria call himself that and his numbers are exactly as mine in gematria only if you dig deeper you'll find out that i have a deeper connection um i'll just say it i'm i'm closer to god there i said it too damn bad you know, that's the truth. So, in fact, I'm dealing with people that are literally anti-Christ or Satan himself and Lucifer. So, not a joke. It really is not a joke. And some of you are probably what they would call the 144,000 and the rest of you may be saints and the camp of the saints is encompassed and the saints are the fallen angels that are um uh what is there 640 false prophets or something like that like y'all are getting things um that you don't deserve by your misdeeds and your lies yeah you guys you know The ones that know and um, turn away, those are the ones that are going to have a major problem coming up here. So, thanks for no help. <laughs> You'll get some help. You'll get all the help you need. There was a really good... Uh, Bruce sees all. Hi. Uh, your video was phenomenal today. You worried about putting too much stuff in there. A life form on the moon, life forms and vehicles or whatever these things are. And the buildings, they're clearly there. And people, if you don't know about Bruce sees all channel, and take it serious, um, the veil is being lifted off of the fog in our minds. That's why they're trying to pour lithium and heavy metals in us and that type of thing. 
to stop our awareness, to keep their control over us. That's why I detox daily and got back into exercising after my broken bones healed. I caught that thing out of a tree. He was falling with his chainsaw. I should have, and it fell on my shoulder and broke my shoulder and my arm in two different places and injured a bunch of muscles and shit. And that's not like the first time that's, and then I had broken toes like um, right before that. And I mean, you, some of you I heard this, it's like one injury and things like one thing right after another. I literally ran across the road and like about three jumps and got there and caught him on my shoulder and then went like that to hoist him up. That's when it, the weight came down on me. I can't prove that's in, intentional, but you know what? It really fucked me up bad. He said, I should have just let him fall. And I said, yeah, you would have bounced, right? You know? I mean, it's, I caught him so he could keep control of that chainsaw and set it down. So I, I squatted down with the weight of about, uh, at, literally at the time, about 360 pounds, five foot six, stocky dead. And he's a monster. So I should have let him fall, but it's not my nature. That's why I got to get away from people that would take advantage of my nature and use it to try and take me off this planet or keep control over me or the land or, you know, whatever, whatever, all of the above. If um, I was expendable, I mean, I am. If there was somebody, whenever there's somebody in our lives, um, which he always makes sure there is somebody else uh, to make sure that he has that that low vibe going on in our house constantly, fucking constant. So yeah, it'll be a lonely wherever I end up going, but um, I'll, I make friends quick and. I still have everybody online and I'll get settled and keep doing my videos and still be me, you know. I'll have to um, change my email or I'll, I'll cross that bridge when all that, when I come to that, I guess. I can keep in touch from um, like people's channels and stuff, you know. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll be without internet like forever, probably not even a day because libraries have Wi-Fi, you know. So I can still be on Facebook and YouTube and go into my account and everything as usual unless I have to try and escape in a hurry and I don't have my paperwork and all that type of thing. So, you know which would be a bit retarded. I mean, I have things like my grandmother that I met when I was 34. So, I mean, I have her silver that my grandfather bought her, you know, stuff like that in a silver collection that she sent me of different things. So, you know, I don't know. I've lost houses full. I had my house burned down. I and other times I've lost housefuls of stuff, and people took right down to a silver cup with my children's baby teeth in it. You know, just um, all kinds of really cruel, cruel things. So anyway. Yeah, it hasn't been the greatest of day, to be honest. <laughs> but I'm still, I'm still laughing. See, <laughs> you know. And I will go to bed laughing. I'm sure. Here's to friends making videos cheering me up, and I know a lot of people do. And thank you very much. Oh, 
one I really enjoyed, not just Bruce Lee's all, but this made my day just a minute. I'll tell you about it. Shout out Christy Lindsay. You're so adorable. And your little let me see, get her get her name right here. Um has the same name as my cat, you called that. Um chicken of yours. She was talking to you. It was so cute. I'll I'll get the name, but you and your chicken were so adorable. That reminds me of me and my chicken. She loved to talk to and and we understood each other well. So yeah, she's got your good chicky language. I know you called her something Lindsay. Um I'll get it. I'll get it here in just a minute. <laughs> this is so cute. What a character. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, I guess. And I even wrote it back to you. That's, you know, yeah, I got, I do have a lot on my mind, but and now I got to go. Let me, let me tell you, and you, because then people can look you up to and see you talking chicken. You talking to me, chicken? <laughs> you know? That's what I thought, chicken. Uh, let's see. Squeaky. <laughs> Squeaky Lindsay. Yeah, I had a cat named Squeaky. Benjamin and Squeaky were twins. <laughs> yeah, that was very cute. Yeah. So that did make my day. Yeah, my um, I called her Chick Olette. She was a Rhode Island Red and just wandered in the yard one day and I ended up just falling in love with her. I had had leg forms um, before in my life but and had been around Bantam's other ones and worked in a poultry farm too and then out on other ranches around, you know, different and tropical birds but yeah, that, and I didn't think I really liked Rhode Island Reds that much. What a sweet bird, you know. When they say bird brain, they have no clue the size of these little animals' hearts. It, it, they're from phenomenal little lovers, you know, just like kitties, you know. Birds and horses are a lot like kitties. So are cows quite a bit, their attitude. Well, I don't know, kitties can be a little retarded, <laughs> you know. So. I think they have some of that satanic gene in them, I really do. Oh, I seen over on Facebook this mother, and I, I take it it was her stepson and, um, husband but it said something like father and son both um uh impregnate mom or some it was so retarded it's like i am not even reading this the stuff that and and imagine like a 14 or a 12 or how old if they have the internet and they're on there and they see this and they had it on even today, again, it's like two, three days now. It's like, okay, what's the message here, huh? Incest? You know, just the title of it doesn't say step parent or even that, you know, is, you know, stepchild, whatever that is. Um, grotesque, you know. So I can't stand like like what I'm around it. I mean, it's anybody and everything. It's it's uh, an insatiable appetite for never being satisfied. It and what I'm telling you is the truth. It's it's repulsive. I cannot and will not live around this for the rest of my life. Can't handle it. No can do.
I know some of you live alone or, or you might as well because of the way you get treated too. So I, I sense it. I can feel you. That, you know, they'll try and take an intelligent, it isn't, it isn't the um, stupid people, although narcissist and evil people deserve stupid people like them, but they go after ones that are quite uh, accomplished and confident and try and break that inner person. And I'll be damned if I'll let that happen to me. You know, not at all, not like that. I told him that going into this too, unless you're Christ himself, you'll never have my heart. I'll never, never, I said I didn't ever give my heart that deeply to any man on this planet, and I refuse to, you know. It just, just doesn't work like that with me because I'm not stupid, you know. Human beings, flesh is controlled, thoughts are controlled, and some people don't take the effort to rectify it in their selves and know it's not them. They just go with the flow of the feeling, and then people that are not insane suffer because of that. They suffer from another greed and lust, and that's uncool, you know. Just that should be illegal, you know. But. And if it was just thoughts and he was quiet and peaceful and things weren't weird like that, I could live with it. My pump still just turned on. I probably sound garbled. Maybe it's a good time I should go grab a bong and... No, I'm just kidding. A cigarette's good. <laughs> like you wouldn't be able to know. <laughs> I'd really rather have a teacher in a, in a elementary school bending down behind their desk and taking a hit off a bomb than I would teaching children that there's three genders. You know, that's just my personal feelings on the situation. If there's um, like an air conditioning system to filter everything out. So, or a smokeless pipe, there you go. Keep them teachers happy so they don't hurt our kids, you know. <laughs> Maybe it'll clear their mind of the cobwebs with the state job that they're doing. I've seen them close up every day, not just going to school. I work for the state. <laughs> you know, I've seen the shit every day. <laughs> I've always been around the um, people that are affiliated with all the social bullshit you know, whatever level, and whatever level they think they are. There was somebody Doug was trying to impress last night on the phone, but this guy was so terrible. Um, he even insulted Doug's business, <laughs> which, you know, whatever, I'm not into doing that to people, but, you know. It was a little humorous, you know, after what I had been through yesterday. It's like, wow. Seemed kind of like, uh, and I know he's seen me before, too, because he's a MSRA member, a Minnesota Street Rod Association, longtime member. And even at, like, picnics and different events, and we'd all bring our cars. And, yeah, there's a lot of people now, but back in the day when we first became members, there there wasn't like, um, I think there's about probably 60,000 now or 80, maybe a hundred. I don't know. It really, really grew from like 10,000 people to boom. Like, but that's what 
you know, it's a club, car club, so. But your cars have to be um, 64 and under, so, to get into, like, back to the 50s. And, uh, like other events, there's different ones, like, that will have newer vehicles in or whatever. Or concept cars or whatever, like World of Wheels and all those. We've gone to all those. And we do have a VW Bug for sale um, that won a, a Best of Show for VWs at World of Wheels. Um, so, yeah, it's got a lot of work into it. Um, leather seats, roll bar, custom paint, the... It's yellow with white, and the stars are like um, kind of gold, and tiny little stars look like flames in the white with gold. It, it, it's absolutely beautiful. It's down in my uh, videos. You'll see it, and then the paperwork from where it was built and when it won its award, and, and it's perfect. There's not a mark on this thing. Wood steering wheel, wood dash. Um, I think it's uh, mahogany. I know it is. So stuff like that. Just nice little car. Well, thank you for joining me. I just thought I'd get on here and let you know. You know, it really is the same old, same old type of stuff. It's just that um, I'm at at my not my wits end, but. Um, I just found the biggest dim wit, you know, so anyway, I'm going to find some people that like me and I like them, so when I cook my chicken pasta salad, we can actually enjoy something together without um, me feeling so secluded. I'll find some friends. <laughs> so, all right, everybody, have a good night or day wherever you're at, or maybe I won't find any friends. It seems like the good people seem to be all separated and there's a lot of lonely people in our same situation i do believe so all right everybody have a good night or day wherever you're at thank you so much for joining me peace <laughs>